Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian and I got another video for you guys. Alright, so warning alert, warning alert. We just got this email from Google stating that, let's see, on May 30th, you may lose access to apps that are using less secure sign-in technology. Ooh. So uh, basically... Gmail is going to be moving off of the username and password standard that everyone's used for you know ages. Um, you and this is a good thing. Um, they want our devices like copiers and printers to sign in using more secure technology, and um, you know I'm all for this. The only problem is I do not believe Konica um, or any other brand that I know of at this time uh, has the ability for you to sign in to more secure technologies. I'm pretty sure at some point they will, but um, I haven't found anything on it yet, um, especially Konica, where you can sign in using more secure technologies. So with that said, you can either wait for um, Konica to come up with an update and stop your scan to email service until then. Um, we run a business and we cannot do that. Um, your second option is to build your own mail server and run everything through there and that's something we're doing as well it's just gonna take us a little bit of time um, and then your third option is you can go over to a service like this which is SMTP to go uh, this is a great service where you can select how many emails you want per month you can go with the 1000 free plan 10,000 40 all the way up to 3 million emails a month and all you have to do is just sign up here create an account and then I'll show you where you go to and add an SMTP user and that's all you have to do and then you can use their mail server to send all your um, data through now you will not be in control of the emails that come through here and SMTP to go does say that they do not store any of your emails and that they're secure now um, you could take that uh, w with what you want whether you want to believe them or not but um, I do uh, believe that they're telling the truth. Um, if you need to be very secure and have access to your own email, you're probably going to have to build your own or find another service that gives you access. Now, um, other than Gmail, I would try to get Yahoo, ProtonMail. I tried about four other services. Um, God, I'm just off the top of my head, can't remember. None of them would work with SMTP. Nothing was working. Only Gmail is the only one that works, and they're ending on May 30th. So a lot of the um, other companies have already moved on um, to more secure uh, technologies for signing in. All right, so with that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to log in. I'm going to show you guys the information that you need to uh, do to get it working. And then we'll head on over to the copier, and we'll, I'll show you where to put that information in. So uh, hopefully this helps, and uh, let's go on and log in. All right, now that we're on the SMTP to go website and I'm logged in, you'll see uh, up top it'll show you how many emails you've sent already for this billing cycle, which has been three because it just reset. I have 10,000 emails, so this should be perfectly fine. You can always upgrade more. Um, if you need or downgrade as well so all you need to do is go over to settings and then SMTP users and you're going to want to hit add SMTP user and create a username and a password and a description if you would like and uh, the rate limit you can leave as unlimited so I've already done that so I'm just gonna hit back and after you do that you'll get a username like we have here um, that you'll see right there. After that, you'll just need this information that I'm highlighting right here, which is the SMTP server, the SMTP port number that you wish to use, and uh, it also has alternative ports you can use, and the SSL ports that you can use. Now, we are familiar with SSL. It always works for us, so we're using the SSL port 465. That I tested, and it works perfectly fine. Uh, you can try different ports if you'd like, but um, that one worked for us, and that's all that we tested. So our SMTP port will be 465, not 2525. And then the mail at smtp2go.com, username, and the password should be all you need. So let's go ahead and uh, swing over to the copier, 
and I'll show you guys how to get this entered. All right, now that we're over at the copier, just go ahead and hit Menu, Utility, Administrator Settings, and go ahead and enter your administrator password. It's usually just one through eight. Now hit Network Settings, and then number seven, Email Settings. And then number one, email SMTP. Now you're going to want to make sure scan to email is on. And you see the host address, which was smtp.gmail.com. That's the old server address. We're going to go ahead and put in the new one now. So go ahead and delete the old one and enter in the new one which is mail.smtp2go.com and that's with the number two mail.smtp2go.com all right now hit detail settings smtp authentication on user id this was our old user id for gmail we're going to take that out and go ahead and put your new user ID, which will be the SMTP user ID that you created. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put in a dummy address. This is not a real one. But you will know your own SMTP user. And after you're done installing that, go ahead and add the SMTP user password that you created as well. All right, when you're done with that, go to domain name and you're going to want to enter SMTP, the number two, go.com. That will be the domain name you use. And go ahead and hit close and then OK. All right, so we're pretty much done. We're just going to go over to the SSL page and just make sure SMTP over SSL is on. And we're using port 465. I'm listing some other ports here that you can use if you would like. Um, but 465 with SSL works fine for us. All right, and that's it. You are done. So just go ahead and head over to the scan page. Type in the email address or select the one you want. Put your documents in the feeder and go ahead and hit start and enjoy your new email server. We're going to go ahead and end the video here. Just want to thank everyone for watching. We really appreciate your support and we have many more videos to come. So please like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.